From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your afternoon weather update. Hey, good afternoon, happy Easter folks. Fantastic day as we head through the rest of the day today. Really nice way to end our weekend. The weekend itself was kind of hit or miss. Yesterday was really kind of a rainy, dreary day. Nice sleeping weather, but today, far cry. We'll call it mid 50s right now across the area. 59 in Florence, warmest temperature on the map at the moment, but most of us will be getting into the 60s with due time as we head over the next 12 hours or so, especially over the next six hours as we head into the afternoon. Let's take a look at what we have to look forward to. First, we'll take a look at some conditions. Cloudy now in southern middle Tennessee. Those are moving out with time. The further south you go, the less cloud cover there is. That is sort of impacting the forecast as of right now, but it's still 54 here in Lawrenceburg at the moment. As of midday, humidity is at 82%, so there is still some moisture in the atmosphere. But if we hop across the state line, you can see conditions are just a little bit different here in northwest Alabama. Clear sky starting to peek through the clouds there, at least here in Florence at the moment. It's 59 degrees there thanks to that humidity notably less as well as so you can see as you go south like I mentioned conditions are clearing out faster and we're closing in on 60 much more rapidly. Here's your Easter Sunday forecast and you can see what I'm talking about there with that trend here over the next few hours getting up into the mid 60s for our highs today. It wouldn't shock me to see some 70s across the area probably right at 70 as those clouds begin to move out of here but nonetheless really nice day to end our weekend. Easter really came through as that system moved out. All right, Futurecast next 24 hours. We'll take a look on a city by city and hour by hour basis. There's those clouds really becoming kind of patchy there. That will impact the forecast. If it stays more, perhaps more cloud cover, that might decrease the temperatures a little bit. If they break up faster, might increase the temperatures a little bit. But I think purely based on the conditions alone, we have a nice day to look forward to with those upper 60s. Cooling off tonight, back down into the lower to mid 40s for lows. And as we're waking up tomorrow, might want to wear a coat, but I don't think that's going to be necessary all day because look at that. We're recovering right back up in the mid to upper 60s, probably once again closer to 70 to begin our work week. So it looks like we have a nice little spell of spring-like weather coming in as we head over the next few days. You see that we got this big old high pressure system coming in. That's really the culprit for the next few days here. But what we need to watch is this system off to the south there. Notice that coming up from the Gulf, not a hurricane or anything like that, but it is kind of weird to see that coming in at this time of year. Usually you'd expect tropical systems or the subtropical systems to start manifesting later into the summer. But the, Gulf of, the sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico specifically are a little bit warmer than they usually would be for this time of year. So the conditions are favorable for that to start developing. And that lifts north with time. And check that out. By the end of the week, we have the chance of showers and storms through the Tennessee Valley. We'll call it Thursday night, perhaps into Friday, Friday afternoon and Friday evening. I don't think that's going to be too impactful or anything like that. But it's something to keep an eye on for our next rain shot by the end of the week and perhaps into Friday, maybe into late hours of Friday into early Saturday morning. Behind that looks like we clear out nicely. Spring is definitely here to stay, I'm thinking, for the long term. Here's a temperature trend to see exactly what I'm talking about here. We're starting to warm up over the next few days. There's that high pressure really influencing the temperatures, going right through the 70s into the mid-70s by Wednesday, cooling off a little bit by the end of the week, but not enough to make any huge difference, to be honest with you. I think we'll be hovering near 70 pretty much for the entirety of this week. So. Big picture forecast, let's break down the seven days, see what we have in store. Spring really sticks around for the first half of the week. There's those rain chances at the end of the week, but again, I don't think those are going to be too impactful. Next weekend, those showers might be scattered, but it'll be nice and warm. Thanks for watching, and God bless.